Hi, my name is Akanksha Upadhyay and I'm your English instructor. In today's class, we will be solving the exercise portion of Unit 10, which is interpreting graph charts and diagrams. So let's begin. Let's begin our chapter by reading the text and then let's answer the questions. So here it goes. The way people greet one another reflects their custom. It gives insight into their history and values. There is a wide range of greetings around the world. These range from the common handshake to other strange rituals found in some countries. Let's observe how the simple action of greeting someone differs greatly from place to place. In some eastern countries, including Korea, Japan, bowing is the traditional greeting. In Japan, it is accepted that the deeper the bow, the deeper the respect shown. In Nepal and India, people bend or nod and say namaste or namaskar, joining palms together as if praying. Handshakes are also popular in three countries. In Tibet, people opt to stick out their tongue to greet others, which may seem strange to us. In the United States, some people shake hands firmly and make direct eye contact. It means a simple handshake is the normal greeting there. Shaking a person's right hand while looking for him or her in his or her eyes is the usual method. Handshakes are also common in other parts of the world, including Canada, Britain, and Russia. When Canadians first meet, they often shake hands and introduce themselves by stating their name. In Russia, males grasp other men's hand very strongly during the handshake. Similarly, most people in New Zealand greet each other by shaking hands. However, the native Maori people of the country display more physical contact. They press their nose together in a sign of trust and closeness. In other countries, such as France and Belgium, hugging and kissing are most common when two people meet. In those cultures, people kiss each other on the cheeks. The number of times varies depending on the particular country. In Saudi Arabia, men might hug and kiss each other, but not a woman, on the cheek. People also shake hands with other men there. Thus, greetings vary from culture to culture and the place to place where they live. These cultures teach us how to assimilate in a society. It also helps us to know each other's way of life. Moreover, learning about others' culture can be a reliable tool for keeping peace and social harmony. Now let's move towards the exercise portion. First, we have enrich your vocabulary. Here, we need to choose the synonyms of the underlined words. The first one is, John greeted his friend with a warm smile and firm handshake. So we need to find the synonym for greeted. Now here, the options are, demonstrated, presented, welcomed, or offered. So the synonym for greeted must be welcomed because to demonstrate or to present does not match with this context and he is not offering a smile either. So it makes sense when we say John welcomed his friend with a warm smile and firm handshake. So the answer is welcomed. Next we have the old man grasped his young grandson's hand tightly so he couldn't run onto the road. So we need to find the synonym for grasped. And the options are touched, held, observed, or kissed. So the old man must have held his young grandson's hand tightly so he couldn't run onto the road. He shouldn't have touched him, observed, or kissed him. Instead, he should have held him. So the answer is held. The next question is, I'm interested in learning more about the costumes of other countries. And the options are attractions, language, traditions, or discussion. So, custom genuinely means traditions. It does not mean attractions, language, or discussion. So, I'm interested in learning more about the tradition of other countries makes more sense than the other options. So, the best alternative for costumes is traditions. The final question for choosing the synonym is, remember when you meet Mr. Robin, he does not like any physical contact. And we need to find the synonym for contact. And the options are, 
gossip, touching, greeting or discussion. So, physical contact usually means touching. Physical gossip or physical greeting or physical discussion does not make any sense in this context. So, the person is trying to remind someone that Mr. Robin does not like any physical touching. So, here's our answer. Next, we need to choose the best option and fill in the blanks. This is another easy exercise we have. A blank can be used to greet someone to show agreement. So, we have four options. Hug, nod, kiss or costume. So, we know that these words are used to greet someone. But we are not sure if all of these is used to show agreement. A hug cannot show agreement. A kiss does not show agreement either. Though hug and kiss both means greeting, both show greetings, but it is, it is not used to show agreement. And costume is not showing agreement too. But nod can definitely be used in greeting. Also, it can be used to show agreement. So, the best option is nod. So, we will fill in the blank with nod. Zimba blank his hand towards the woman but she refused to shake it. Now we need to fill in the blank with these four options depended on, turned down, held on or stuck out. We discard stuck out immediately because it does not match with the content. Also does not mean to offer handshake. Now we need to choose between turned down and held on. So the best alternative is turned down. Ken hurt his back after his deep blank to the foreign visitor. With a handshake, you can never hurt your back. With contact or effect, it does not match the context of hurting back. But bowing definitely can hurt your back because you're bending down. So the best alternative to fill this blank is to bow, which makes perfect sense. Ken hurt his back after his deep bow to the foreign visitor. Next, we have the styles in this store blank from old-fashioned to modern. And the options are price, accept, range or come. So we can say the styles in this store range from old-fashioned to modern. So this shows a range. You know that the old-fashioned is a little backward. And modern is a little forward, so it ranges from old-fashioned to modern. Any other words like price or accept or come does not suit in this context. The styles in this store, price from old-fashioned to modern, does not make sense. And accept or come does not make sense too. So the word range makes perfect sense. So here we have range. The styles in this store range from old-fashioned to modern. Finally, for this section we have Getting down on your knees is a blank to honor the dead in this country. So getting down on our knees is a ritual to honor the dead in the country. It does not mean closeness. The blank cannot be filled with closeness, range or suggestion, but it is ritual. Hence, we write it. We are done with the enrich our vocabulary section. Next, we have read and tick. So now, we need to read the question and then tick the best option for the question. So here we begin. What is this text mainly about? The options are importance of handshake all around the world, the origin and history of various greetings, the strangest type of greetings on earth, or D, the wide range of greeting costume in the world. The text is not mainly about importance of handshake but importance of handshake is stated in one of the paragraphs because some of the countries entertain this method of greeting. The text neither mainly focuses about the origin and history of various greetings. We don't know very well about the origin and history of greetings in detail. It does not state the strangest type of greetings on earth as well but it certainly does explain about the wide range of greeting costume in this world so the option is d the wide range of greeting costume in this world next we need to find which of the following is true and the options are people in russia but not in england shake hands the other option is 
The number of times people kiss on cheeks varies. Next, in the past, people nodded if they weren't carrying a weapon. Or the final option is, you shouldn't look at people when shaking their hands in the US. So handshakes are common in the parts of the world, including Canada, Britain and Russia, means that Russia and England, people in Russia and England both shake hands. Uh, the number of times people kiss on cheeks varies in Saudi Arabia. So this is a true statement. Now let's see if any other statement is true. In the past, people nodded if they weren't carrying a weapon. We don't know about the past because it's not mentioned in our text. Also, you shouldn't look at people when shaking their hands in the US is not true because you should actually look into their eyes. So the option or the answer to this question is the number of times people kiss on their cheeks varies. So here we take the option. Next question is how do most people in New Zealand greet each other? And the options are with a kiss on the cheek by pressing noses together with a handshake or by sticking of their tongues. So we have clearly mentioned in the text that most people in New Zealand greet each other by shaking hands. So the correct answer is option C with a handshake. Now the next question is how do people in India and Nepal greet each other? So we don't actually need to read the text for this question because we know what's the answer and we don't need options too. So we can directly see by saying Namaskar or Namaste in the fourth option and pretty sure about this option. So with a handshake by pressing noses together or with a kiss on the cheek is directly discarded because we know how we greet each other, right? And the final question for this section is how do Saudi Arabians greet people? The options are when Men might hug and kiss each other, but not a woman, on the cheek. So this is the correct option because we have already read it, but we will go through other options too. It's not proper for men to kiss women when they meet. So this is also true, but it does not tell us about how do people greet each other. So we don't consider this option. Next, we have women don't Women do not kiss other women when they meet. So this is not mentioned in our text, so we don't know about it. And finally, women can kiss men, but men can't kiss women when they meet. So this is not true. Now, the answer is option A. That's men might hug and kiss each other, but not a woman on the cheek. Now we will fill in the blanks with the help of following words. Hand, hug and kiss, costumes. Stick out, greeting, or bow. So using these six words, we will fill in the blanks. So now, here is the paragraph, and there are six blanks, and we need to fill this with the words above. This is really a very easy exercise, and we will be done in no time. So let's begin. If you are traveling to another country, you should learn a bit of its... So here we have words, hand, greeting, hug and kiss, bow, Costumes or stick out. So we need to learn about the costumes before you go there. This includes getting to know the proper form of blank people. So we have costume already done. Now next we will find words to fill in this blank. And we have a word greeting here which perfectly fits in the blank. This includes getting to know the proper form of greeting people. So here we write greeting. It can differ a lot. If you go to America, don't be surprised if someone shakes your hand. So we have hand here. So we're talking a lot about handshakes and we know that this blank is made for the word hand. In Japan, people might bow when they greet. So we have already learned about this too. So bow is also cancelled. Now we have two left hug and kiss, and then stick out. Finally, if you travel to Saudi Arabia, men might hug and kiss each other, but not a woman on the cheek. We don't have any blank for stick out. For today's lesson, we have a final section left that is read and answer. Now we will read the questions and then answer in reference to the text we just read. The first question is, how do the Nepalese greet each other? The answer is pretty easy. So the answer is 
Now please greet each other by bending or nodding and saying Namaste or Namaskar, joining palms together as if they are praying. So let's write it down. The next question is, what are the different ways of greeting people in USA, Canada and Japan? And the answer is, uh, in the United States, people shake hands firmly and make direct or eye contact, while in Canada, when they first meet, they often shake hands and introduce themselves by, sh by stating their name. However, in Japan, people bow as a form of greeting. So let's write it down. In the United States, people shake hands firmly and make direct eye contact, while in Canada, people shake hands and introduce themselves when they first meet. However, in Japan, people bow down as a greeting. The next question is, what do greetings reflect? And the answer is, greetings reflect custom. It gives insight into the history and values. The fourth question is, what is the significance of understanding others' culture? The answer is, understanding others' culture teaches us how to assimilate in a society. It also helps us to know each other's way of life. So here we come to the end of our exercise. There are two homework questions for you in today's class. The first one is to supply a suitable title to the text. You can give any title like different ways of greetings or custom or anything that you wish and the second question is how do people in korea greet each other so korea is an eastern country and we've already read how do koreans greet each other i want you to write it down as your homework so this is all for today's class if you have any questions any suggestions or anything that you wish to share with us please feel free to write to us at learning at thanks for watching